everybody, this is Francesco Aprezzino with the Suncoast News and Scoop, and we're talking about height limitations within the city of Venice, and this was discussed at the city council meeting on the area that you see up on the screen there. And basically, the NRP group, which is represented by Jeff Boone, they want to come in and seek approval to have several buildings built that are uh, 54 feet and 7 inches, and it's going to be in a limited area of this PUD that you see up there. And the council came in and gave their first initial approval for the special exception. Um, this place is over on Laurel Road, over by Laurel Road and Border, um, just east of 75. There, I think there, there, there has been a limit placed on, I believe it's 42 feet in height, was the limit placed over on South Laurel Road. And that's why they were trying to seek the special exception. Uh, there were some noted that there, they did note that there's been prior approvals, I guess, uh, Villa Paradiso had a height limit of 60 feet and the bridges and another one, Ville Perdu okay, Ville Perduccio was 57 feet, 60 feet for the bridges. And there was a third one in there. It's a little confusing how Earl wrote it, but basically this is an article by Earl Kimmel. He wrote it and I'll include it, a link to it on my website. So if you're on Facebook or Instagram, you'll have to go to my website to see it. There'll be a link to it. I don't think this is a subscriber only, it could be. Um, so if you click on it and it says they want money, it's not a mistake, you need to be a subscriber. Someone once said, oh, you're sending me and it's a mistake. No, it's not a mistake. So that's where we stand. So if this is the first approval, assuming there's going to have to be a second approval on it, and we'll see where it goes from there. So what are your thoughts? Some people, I thought I saw the group that's fighting against this say that they consider it a victory. I believe that's what the email said, if, if my memory is correct. And I'm sure Jeff Broom considers it a victory too on his side. So I'm not sure how the opposition and the people for it both consider it a victory, but somewhere along the line, they think it's a victory. And that's been it. So this has been Francesco Abruzzino with the Suncoast News and Scoop. Give us your thoughts either on Facebook, Instagram, or you can go to my website or Twitter. All right, everybody, have a great day. Yeah.